Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019. In this episode, I would like to list my top 10 favorite movies of 2018. These are just my personal favorites. My number, my number 10 pick is Bohemian Rhapsody. I enjoyed it very much, and my favorite part by far was the Live Aid performance. Bravo, Rami Malek, for the way you honored Freddie Mercury. My number 9 pick is Insidious The Last Key. Probably the best of the Insidious sequels. It left me wanting to see some more in this franchise. My number 8 pick is Avengers Infinity War. Lots of characters and franchises were both set up and leading to this great event movie, and not only did it not disappoint, but it took some gutsy chances with where it went. Can't wait to see where the next movie, Avengers Endgame, goes. Number 7, Black Panther. One of the more fresh experiences seeing a comic book movie, probably because I didn't know anything about the character and, or his world before seeing this movie, other than seeing the character introduced in Captain America Civil War. My number six pick is the recent Halloween, which I think is the best installment of the Halloween franchise since the classic original film. Very old school horror, and I like that. My number five pick is A Star is Born. Believe it or not, this one almost didn't end up on this list because I originally wasn't going to go see it. Word of mouth was what made me want to go, and I'm glad I did. It's a beautiful film, and I have a new respect for Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga as artists. My number four pick is Bumblebee, probably the best installment of the Transformers franchise, mainly because Michael Bay didn't direct it. My number three pick is Ready Player One. This was one of the movies of 2018 that I was so looking forward to, and I was not disappointed. I went and saw it twice. No matter what people say, Steven Spielberg hasn't lost his magic. My number two pick is Solo, A Star Wars Story. Probably my fourth favorite in the Star Wars franchise. I know it had a trouble production, but bringing in director Ron Howard to save the day was a terrific move. We probably won't get a Solo sequel, but that's alright. This one is fine on its own. And my number one favorite movie of 2018 was... First Man, another movie of 2018 that I was dying to see, and it did not disappoint. The Man's Space Flight era has always fascinated me, and so did this movie. I can't wait to buy it on DVD and Blu-ray. And those are my 10 personal favorite movies of 2018. I can't wait to see what 2019 brings. Thank you so much for watching, and there will be more, because Lightning's Home Theater is always showing.